This morning in our series Grit, we're highlighting a woman who shows it's never too late to follow your passion. Lindy Elkins Stanton is a planetary scientist making history this year as the leader of a NASA space mission. But she didn't always have that dream, and as you'll see, it's been a journey filled with curiosity, hardship, and a whole lot of grit. The day that I got the call from the NASA associate administrator telling me we'd been selected, my big revelation at that moment was my life is never going to be the same again. For planetary scientist Lindy Elkins Tanton, space is not the final frontier. It's just the beginning. She's the principal investigator for Psyche, the latest NASA mission launching an unmanned spacecraft to an unexplored asteroid. Tell me, what is the Psyche mission and how is it life changing for you? So there's this asteroid that's orbiting out between Mars and Jupiter, very far away, which we think is made mostly of metal. And so that's really exciting to me. Already we've had 2,000 people work on the Psyche mission and over 1,500 students be involved and we haven't even launched yet. Lindy and her team hoping the metal asteroid will help them learn about how Earth and the other planets were formed. With this mission, she's currently the second woman to be awarded a major NASA contract. But Lindy's journey into the sciences was anything but direct. After my undergrad, I worked as a management consultant for a bit. I had a little business of my own writing business plans. I got married, I had my wonderful son, and then at one point, I began to feel bored and I thought, what could I do where I can always give myself a bigger challenge? And that's really what drew me back into science. Um, yeah, 10 years late when I was 31, I started my PhD. Well, you are the uh, living embodiment of better late than never. I think that's right. It might be my new motto. <laughs> <laughs> the MIT graduate telling her story of grit in her memoir, A Portrait of the Scientist as a Young Woman including a dark chapter of alleged sexual abuse as a child. It was the struggling to overcome the incredible emotional ramifications of that experience. I think that made me the person that I am, for better or for worse. By 2008, Lindy leading her first exploratory team into Siberia. This is not the dinosaur extinction. It was much earlier, 250 million years ago, the end Permian. It was almost the end of multicellular life on Earth. It was a huge volcanic eruption at that time that lasted a million years. A kind of volcanism that is not happening on the Earth today, but it's covered central Siberia. The same climate changing gases that we are creating today. Lindy started working on the Psyche proposal soon after, but then getting an untimely diagnosis ovarian cancer. Did you ever think that, you yeah, know, maybe I'm going to have to step away from this? Oh, gosh, I did. And uh, I would consider it for like a second and then I would reject it because that was unacceptable. Despite chemotherapy, Lindy was determined to continue. It was the excitement and the drive of the work that I was doing. And I felt like I could not give up. And if I can ask, how are, how are you doing today? I am clear. For Lindy, having a goal helped her focus on the mission. There's something extremely exciting about that, but also something that's got to be about as anxiety-ridden as possible. I, I've been joking recently that I have leveled up in stress control. This is an $850 million mission, and uh, we've still got some big hurdles to jump, um, but we're hopeful we're going to launch this year. For a woman who's been through so much, she wants others to know it's never too late to try something new. What do you want your legacy to be, Lindy? The thing that I would most like is to help more people to feel that they have agency in their lives to make change. You want to talk about resiliency. Uh, well, she is the yeah. epitome of it. Uh, and the Psyche mission, it's set to launch in September. It's going to take three and a half years for the spacecraft to land on the asteroid. But once that happens, the images should be immediately put online. And this way, Lindy says, we can all be explored. Very cool. Go, Lindy. What yeah. an incredible yeah. story. Amazing. She's got more than just grit.